Greetings Arbenter, this is Rosalie and I'm here today in the beautiful pine forests of the Northeastern Cascades in Washington State and we're on a little hike and I've just run into so many wonderful plants on this hike even in this little space I'm in right now there's so many things growing found some wild strawberry here also found lots of arnica, there's some leaves there, the heart-shaped leaves, they aren't flowering yet and here's a nice big bush of buffalo berries or soap berries. But today we're actually here to talk about this little guy over here. And this little plant you see growing in these mats here. This is uh, commonly referred to as Uva Ursi, which is the species name. And uh, its genus name is Arctostaphylus. It's also commonly called Kinnikinnik, which roughly translates into smoking blend and historically this plant was used in a variety of different smoking mixtures. If we look at the leaves, it has these leathery kind of leaves here, a little bit darker on the top than the bottom, and they are alternate. So you can see there's a leaf there, when it goes down a little bit, there's a leaf there, leaf there. So alternate leaf pattern. It's in the heath family, so when it flowers it has these pinkish white flowers that are shaped like urns, which are common to the heath family. And it fruits these red berries that aren't especially juicy, they're more mealy, um, but they, the special thing about them is they ripen late and they stay on um, at least until winter, so they can be used as a, eaten as a survival food. Medicinally, we use this plant pretty specifically. It's really high in tannic acid, making it very astringent. So it's many herbalists, including my own, number one choice for inflammation um, in the urinary tract, such as urinary tract infection. And if you've ever taken a strong tea of this stuff, you will really, you just immediately feel its astringent effects. You know, it's just like your mouth just goes and you lose all the saliva in your mouth. Um, it's also used generally for inflammation in the digestive tract, including mouth sores. Just anytime you want to astring something, this is a wonderful plant to do that by. So to harvest this, um, Let's look at it right here. You see it sends out these long leaders, and if you can see that, how long this is. And what you want to do is you want to find these leaders, and then you can kind of cut off the ends of the leaders. So if you find another one, here we see another kind of leader. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to go to the base of the plant and clip it at the base, because then that kind of essentially you know, kills the plant. So what you can do instead is just find these long leaders and chop off a little bit of these uh, leaders. And you can take that home, you can tincture it fresh, you can uh, dry it and take it as a tea, which is quite common. So that's it for Uva Ursi. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing this plant um, in its natural habitat in these beautiful pine forests. Oh, one other thing too, you, you can just see all around here it just really likes to grow in dense mats, so you don't really ever find like one uva ursi. It's these dense mats of uva ursi.